He wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial. I want to show you the CNN contributor uh, talking about how the black community felt connected to OJ, and it gets a little haywire here. Watch this. But it was so racially charged because of what had happened uh, just before with Rodney King, but also just how black Americans feel about policing. It's not like O.J. Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial, particularly because there were two white people who had been killed. And the, the history around how black people have been persecuted um, during slavery, there were, there were just so many layers. And I guess I would just close with this, is that there was racial tension then, there is racial tension now. It might not be the backdrop of the Trump campaign, but until this country is ready to actually have an honest conversation about the racial dynamics from our origin story till today, we will always have moments like O.J. Simpson that manifest, and our country will always be divided if we don't actually deal with the issue of race. Wow. So she basically said a certain set of people were kind of digging it, that it was two white people that were killed. And these are the people that have dragged racism out of the dredges of the ocean to now be mainstream the entire time. It does make you feel better, though, that it was a couple white people, right? Because if he had killed black people, I mean, that's what happens in Chicago and nobody cares. We'd never have heard of this thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if uh, your audience could see us. I think they only saw the clip. My jaw dropped when she said that <laughs> line. It's so psychotic. I mean, I don't know how many times we have to tell the left, if you wouldn't say that sentence and switch the races, then maybe you shouldn't be saying it. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's whether it's, you know, uh, you know, gender, race, uh, sexuality, whatever it is. Like, I, it's like, you can't say that. I, I don't know how we've gotten to a point as a country. I guess like this is why we don't deserve nice things. This is why we can't have nice things because mm -hmm. people go on TV and say things like, oh yeah, well it's fine because especially since he killed two white people. Mm -hmm. What about that? Right? Like the, the excitement in her, in her voice, it's like the, it just reminds me of the university professor saying, oh, October 7th was exhilarating for me. It's like, that's the level that we're at where they're taking pleasure in innocent people being killed just because of their skin color or their religion. Um, and there's almost no salvation for a party that believes things like what that woman just said. Right, because there's no unifying principle there because in some ways she's basically saying, oh, back then when it happened, it was kind of okay for a certain set of people because he was black, the perpetrator was black, and the victims were white. And it's like now these are the same people that if the perpetrator is black and the victims are black, don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, like they've created something that just promotes racism. It doesn't promote any actual philosophy that is somewhat consistent or something that we could work with as Americans.